Hey, how's it going everyone? It's me, It's Count here with a brand new Pokemon Go video. Today I'm going to be talking about an upcoming feature that I am actually personally really excited about. What feature am I talking about? It's the postcard book. Now this particular feature is something that I've really wanted for Pokemon Go, especially because in the past I've made a lot of memories traveling all across the world, and this is allowing me to actually hold on to those memories within this game. I'm going to be talking about all of the benefits of this feature, and why I think Niantic has a good philosophy with Pokemon Go that I think a lot of players are underappreciating. So yeah, let's roll the intro and dive right into it. Alrighty, so the postcard book is coming to Pokemon Go. So what exactly is this feature? Well, if you've been able to send gifts to any of your friends, you would know that there is a postcard that is attached to that gift, indicating what Pokestop or gym that particular gift is from. And I really do like this feature, considering that it shows your friends where you are playing from. So if you're traveling, you can kind of flex that you're in Italy or you're in Bali or something like that. And I really do like having something like this in Pokemon Go be a little bit more permanent. More specifically, if there is a particular postcard that you want to hold on to for the memories, then you can actually do that by inserting it into this new postcard book. And it's not just limited to the Pokestops and gyms that you visited around the world, you could also actually collect some of the postcards that your friends send to you, and that is something else you could do with this postcard book feature. Now, I know a lot of players will not necessarily care about a feature like this, especially especially because there really is no gameplay implications behind it. It's not going to award you with new Pokemon and it's not going to get you more items or anything like that. But this is more about the sentimental aspect of Pokemon Go, which I actually think is highly underappreciated. Pokemon Go is more about experiences as opposed to some dynamic gameplay. Because of course, Pokemon Go as itself is not necessarily a very complex game. It's really simple and it involves you doing a lot of stuff outdoors. And one of the special things that you could do is of course try out this game in different parts of the world. And as you do that you're of course creating a lot of special memories in these different places in the world and one of the ways you can hold on to those is of course through Pokemon Go's in-game mechanics. There's plenty of ways players have held on to some of those memories through Pokemon Go. For example, a lot of players hold on to certain Pokemon that they've caught while those memories happen. Or maybe it's through the AR feature. Maybe they have a whole collection of AR photos that they've taken in different places in the world. Or it's through the inventory of gifts that they've been holding on to from all the various different Pokestops that they've visited around the world. This is something that I've been doing personally, like I still have a bunch of gifts from different places where I've had some really special memories, and I'm really glad that I'm able to actually put these somewhere in the game without having to try to pick and choose which ones I want to keep every time I have to send gifts to my friends. For someone like me who loves to travel and create a lot of different memories, I am actually really happy about this feature being implemented into the game. It really shows that Niantic actually cares about the sentimental aspect of of Pokemon Go, and yes, I totally recognize that not a lot of players will necessarily care about that, but for me, I actually enjoy Pokemon Go specifically because it creates so many positive experiences. Even locally, I was able to make a lot of friends through this game and visit a lot of places that I did not even know existed in the Chicagoland area, and globally, of course, because as I've traveled across the world, I've been able to come across different kinds of Pokemon that I typically would not see. A lot of these different experiences are why I don't believe in spoofing because you're missing out on a lot of cool stuff. So I'm really glad to see that Niantic also believes in this sort of philosophy and they're kind of enforcing it by having a feature like this. Yes, the postcard book is not necessarily that important and I know that a vast majority of players will not even notice that it exists. But for someone like me who holds a lot of sentimental value behind my experiences in Pokemon Go, I'm really happy about this because as I collect postcards across the world, I'm going to be able to put them in one place in the game 
and it's something that I could always go back and look at to fondly remember all of those memories. And of course, this is coming at a really good time because for the last couple of years, we've been under lockdown, and that is of course because of the pandemic, and of course because of that we were not able to travel and see a lot of different places around the world. And now that we are all getting vaccinated and people are able to travel again, I do think that having this feature added into the game right now is really good timing because especially for me in 2022, starting in the month of January, I do plan to travel quite a bit and I know I'm going to be creating a lot of memories that I would like to immortalize with Pokemon Go. I know that sounds really silly because a lot of people out there will say that you should hold on to those memories through pictures and other things that do not necessarily involve Pokemon Go, but I still think that Pokemon Go itself is one of those avenues where I can create a lot of memories, and that's something that should be appreciated. Now, I know there's a lot of players out there who would have rather seen Niantic dedicate a lot of their development resources into fixing the game and adding stuff that actually matters, but I do think that it's okay to take a step back and appreciate the little things like this because it does add a lot to Pokemon Go without having to take away anything from anything else. And even though this is a positive, I do think that Niantic still needs a lot of ground to make up for some of the missteps that they've had over the past couple of months. I totally recognize that, but I will take a step back and appreciate some of the good things that Niantic does every now and then, especially because for the last couple of videos, I've been kind of negative towards Niantic and Pokemon Go. And honestly, it gets really exhausting because for the longest time, I've really enjoyed this game and I've continuously wanted to see it get better and improve and yeah it gets really frustrating whenever Niantic does something that is going to be perceived very negatively from the community and personally I would like to see Niantic do more things that would be perceived as a net positive and this is definitely one of those things. So yeah, I will appreciate little things here and there that are a positive for Pokemon Go, regardless of their impact on the gameplay. I just think that Niantic needs to do more stuff like this in order to build back some of that goodwill with the community. But like I said, there's a lot of ground to make up. I really hope that they focus a lot on fixing different issues with the game. Of course, every issue they fix, they create a whole bunch of new ones. And I think that's just more of a reality of game development. I mean, I used to work in the game industry, so I totally understand that fixing bugs will always create new ones. That's just the nature of how games are designed. And yeah, I really do hope Niantic gets better at it because in 2022, a lot is riding on it because people are finally coming out of lockdowns. So I do think that Niantic does have a lot of ground to make up, but chalk this up as a win. I'm really happy about this feature and I'm really excited to see what memories it will allow me to hold on to. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts regarding the postcard book down below. Are you excited about this feature or it's something you're not necessarily going to care about? Definitely share why down below and let's have a great discussion. But yeah, if you ended up enjoying this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And I am Count Jinsula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.